Hi, and welcome to Creating Special Effects. In the previous section, we learned about using existing materials and screen tones and making our own new materials. In this section, we're going to learn a few different techniques for creating some special effects in your artwork. Before we get started, though, let me say that these are the techniques that work for me. You may want to take the concepts presented in these lessons and personalize them to fit your own style of illustration, and that's perfectly okay. These videos should give you an idea of what some of the features of Clip Studio Paint are capable of and give you a jumping off point to start creating your own personal techniques. In this first lesson, we are going to cover something simple yet pretty powerful, and that's how to create color holds. Color holds are simply colored line work. I see this a lot in comic books for special effects, but it can also be used in print illustration and other artwork to soften lines and give a different look. We're going to learn two different ways to do this, so let's get started. To start off with, we're going to need a drawing that is black lines and transparent. This is a drawing I did completely digitally, so it's already ready to go. Don't despair, however, if you are an artist who draws on paper and scans your drawing into the computer. Did you know that Clip Studio can remove the white from your scanned image and make it black and transparent with the press of a button? For instance, this is a drawing that was done traditionally with ink on paper. First, use the brightness and contrast to make the blacks really dark and the whites nice and bright if needed. That's already been done on this image. Next, we'll go to Edit, Convert Brightness to Opacity. Clip Studio makes the light areas transparent and the darkest areas remain opaque. Okay, let's get to the first technique for creating our color holds. This one is very simple, but we'll have to make changes to our line art layer. The second technique we're going to cover won't change the line art layer at all. Be sure that you have your line art layer selected in the layer palette. Then click on this icon here in the top of the layer palette for lock transparent pixel. What this does is tell Clip Studio that we don't want to make changes to any transparent pixels on this layer. So if we take a pen tool and a different color and start drawing over our lines, you can see that the lines change color. And you can see that this tool is quite a bit larger than our lines on our line art, but it's only affecting our line art layer. You can also use this same technique to create other effects on your line art. Let's select the gradient tool for instance. We can make a rainbow colored gradient using one of the preset gradients. So now we have rainbow line art. And if we decide that we want to go back to our original black lines, all we need to do is select black as our active color and hit the paint bucket fill up here in the top toolbar. Now let's learn our second technique for achieving our colored line art. This technique has us make changes on another layer so that our original layer is preserved. To start off, we'll create a new roster layer above our line art layer. Next, we'll right click and go to layer settings, then click on clip at layer below. Or you can go to the same option from the layer menu up here in the top bar. What this will do is allow us to draw on this second layer. But the changes we make will be visible only where they cross over the lines on the layer below. We can scribble randomly with the pen tool, as you can see, and the only places where blue is becoming a color on the lines is where they are black already. If I right click again on this layer and turn off the clip at layer below, you can see how randomly we scribbled. With this technique, if we decide that we don't want to keep a change we made, we can either use the eraser tool or to change all the lines back to the original color we can select the entire canvas and then press the delete key on our keyboard to clear all the colors. In this video, we have learned two techniques for making colored line art, also known as color holds. 